too, but there's Raptor Man. Um, uh, I uploaded a video yesterday of how I deal with an aggressive um, snake, and in this case it was. But um, I will take your people's advice. The reason why I'm grand by the head like that is we, um, well, I need to get the gloves anyway, and he's like, I'm still trying to tame him down. But I'm going to try it your way in this video. But knowing me, I'll get tagged again. So this is the hook. Custom made. I just got a little bit of metal and just melted it into shape and stuff like that. Whatever. So I'm gonna go get him out. So I probably will get tagged. So get bear with me for a minute. So what I do with the hook is um oh, I rub him. So you know there's not food, but that don't seem to do anything. But. See if I get tagged again. Probably will. All the snakes seem to have shit in your head anyway. So here is. Can't get bit really. Um, I'm not, I'm not nervous or anything. I don't mind if he bites me. I don't want to get bit all the time. Man. Um, I know he's going to strike the tense all his muscles out and that. But he will get used to me eventually. I will need to try it your way. Um, yeah. Um, I just don't want him to bite me again. I'm not scared of him. I've been bit by him like seven times. Um, he's got me in the face. Off. Um, I did tell you guys I see a bit. He got me in the face, I think. We think he got me in the face, but he didn't get a lot. He didn't really get me that bad. Oh shit. Um uh, I got another oh, oh shit. Um I got a new nickname by the way, I'm called Crazy. A lot of people think it's crazy because I keep handling this snake where he bites me or not. I'm a bit nervous now because I don't want to get bit by him, but I ain't too bothered. I had him out yesterday out of the front of the house and my arm was lost him. He was hissing, striking everywhere man. So this is bow, six, six and a half foot common bow. And usually I don't like holding him up in the air because he usually tends to strike from my face. He's done that a few times. On one occasion he did get me but he didn't get me too bad. He even got like the front row of his teeth and he, got, like, he didn't get a whole lot of teeth in me but yeah, this is bow. It'll get better eventually, it'll just take a couple months. Maybe a couple weeks, depending. I'm not getting out every day, I'm getting out every couple of days. So we don't handle that often in the shop. Yeah, he weighs about 30 to 40 pounds. He is really, really heavy. And he's only at once for me, but I leave it in the case. I didn't have any shit. I didn't have any large rats, so I had to get him a medium. He ate that perfectly fine. So, this is Bo, the six foot bow. I mean, he's going in the shed, so if he does tire, I wouldn't be surprised because his scales, his belly scales, start to go blue. Um, it's the best I can do, guys. For now, I'll do better when he's a little bit tamer. I was doing like push it too far, I'm just trying to take my time with him. And then I'm gonna do the hardest part is actually put him in a cage, and he'll go skit, and he probably will tag me. So I'll put you guys down. The hardest part is put him in the cage. Usually, usually was really skipped, but he's actually said he's really calm today. That's the best dog in the day. Um, he's just really not grabbing me on the head because he's actually very, uh, he was very pissy yesterday. But I need to get some garden gloves, but well, thick gloves anyway. But till then, I guess I'll be getting tagged. But he's getting a little bit better, and I'll say a little bit, but it will take time with snakes. Um, I think he was a wild import, I'm not too sure, but we know he don't, he's not a wild import, he acts like a wild snake sometimes, but it takes time, he's three years old and he's not, he, the only time he's been handled is basically to show people, or basically just being cleaned out basically, so I need to go through and clean, because I've just, I've just came in the snake room, and he's urinated, I'm going to clean him out now, I'm going to upload the video now and I'm going to do it. He's done a shit everywhere. 
And now you missed them down because my black and white anthro sticks in shed. But uh, it's a female common bar. We'll breed her pretty soon. She's really awesome. She's taken down small rats. Small small to medium rats. I think the medium I tried her on medium, she's at a medium, but I think they're a little too big for her. I'm gonna stick to smalls once every week and a half. Then we get the favourite out, the Burmese, the head albino, the head albino Burmese python. He's a sick snake, and I mean sick. He is huge now. He's about. He's only. He's born in. He's born in between. He's born between the 20th and the 25th of June 2011. He's about seven, six months old now. No, he is fucking huge. Pouring from my language, but he is massive, and he's actually, believe it or not. He is really, really, really heavy. You see how thick he is. I can barely put my hands around. I can barely hold him with one hand. He is that heavy. I'm not sure how many pounds he weighs, but I'm going to have to start weighing him again. Because he is just extremely heavy. So, I'm going to upload the video. And I've got to go out and just go out clean. I won't be on YouTube for a couple of days because I'm building... Or, I'm going to be using it cage. I'm building a 6x2 for my Burmese Python. Uh, for, uh, when he's about a year old, he'll be in it. But... And I have a spare 4 4 b 2 I do. It's a quick video, guys. Um, yeah, I'm getting a big award this, that's nothing. And we've got this kid who's like telling him I'm a fag and that. He's called um, Crazy, I can't remember his name, but you know who he is for being afraid of this guy when he bit me in one of my really early videos. I'm not scared, I don't want to get bit by him. Like, you probably will bite me, I'm not scared, it's just I find it funny when they try to bite the little snakes, they go skits. But this is um, Zeus, the little baby boa. He's very unpredictable. One minute he'll be tame, the next minute he'll just strike at you. He's bit me so many times on the face. But, yeah. Well, one time he bit me on the nose and he um, constricted, he tried to constrict my nose or face, whatever. But it was funny. He's unpredictable, but I guess most snakes are unpredictable. But some of my snakes, I can just tell when they're gonna strike. So I might as well show you the corns while I'm at it. He's in shed, but they're doing okay. I'm getting rid of him. Hopefully this week, the corn, the corn won't have for blood. And this one needs to be cleaned out. He's a Colombian rainbow bar, raising him to 64 liters tub. Is yep. Um, the reason why I got paper is because I ran out of some. Well, I got some up there, but my mum went skits because I used A4 printer paper and I'm not allowed to use it. So, um, give me a bollocking if I use it, so I'll have to get some paper later on. He's doing alright. He's in his water dish. But that's your, what you put your paint in. I can't remember what it is. But. It's like the conditions are not very good in there, but I'm, I'm cleaning them all out now. I'm gonna go off down B and Q, buy some plywood or melamine to build a six by two by two. So I've got a lot of cleaning to do before what happens because he's crap, he's pissed everywhere, and I'm gonna clean the corners out because I'm bored. So yeah, it's the video, guys, and yeah, I won't be on YouTube, I won't be making any videos for a couple more days. And the smoke last night. My, oops, my other rat gave a bath to 11 babies. Let's see if we can see him. You can't really see him, but yeah, well, it was blood all over the paper from where she gave birth, so yeah. See you later, guys.